Hello everybody, welcome to episode four of Master the Ukulele. If this is your first ukulele lesson, um, if you've never played before and if you're just getting going, I would definitely recommend checking out episodes one, two and three before you get going with this class now, which is episode number four. So I'm going to leave a link in one of the cards here above my head uh, to the Master the Ukulele playlist where you can find episodes one, two, and three. So definitely get those under your belt before you kick off with this lesson. So before we get going, let's just check the tuning on our instruments. It's very important that your ukulele is in tune so that the chords uh, sound correct as you play them. So uh, we're gonna dive into those four tuning pitches straight away. Here we go. So the first string, the string closest to your chest, is G. The next string is C. The next string is E. And the top string, the string closest to the floor, is A. Okay, if you have a tuner, like even a top mounted tuner or one with a microphone that will sit in front of you, use that to help you correctly tune your strings to those pitches, G, C, E, A. Or if you don't have a tuner, do your best to use your ear and tune to my ukulele here. So one more time, we've got G, C, E, and A. Okay, so at this point in the Master of the Ukulele series, we've got six chords under our belt. So we're going to run those six chords straight away with a downward and upward strumming pattern just for review. So we're going to play C, A minor, F, G, D, and E minor in succession. We're going to play four of each chord. So it'll be one and two and three and four and switch and two. So we're gonna start on C, so here we go. So up to four for each chord, starting on a C after. One, two, three, and one, and two, and three, and four, A minor. F. G. D. E minor. And we're going to finish with C. Okay, let's do that one more time. We're gonna do one and two and three and four and for each of those chords. However, let's change up the order. Let's do it backwards. So we're gonna do E minor, D, G, F, A minor, and C. Just for a new challenge. Here we go, starting on E minor. After one, two, three, four, E minor. Okay, very well done if you were able to play along with that at home. So at this stage, if you are struggling with any of those six chords or if you're struggling with how to read the chord diagrams, it would be really wise to go back to episodes one, two, and three where you can relearn and recap your knowledge on those chords. So in episode one, we did chords C and A minor. In episode two, we did F and G. And in episode three, last week's lesson, we did E minor and D. Last week we discussed um, the difference between strumming down, or downward strumming, and upward strumming, strumming on the way back up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put your down and up strumming into a bit of a challenge. I want you to grab your ukulele if you don't have it handy, I want it to be in tune, and I want you to be ready to play along with me. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a very simple game wherein we're going to be strumming down and up and it's going to be one and two and three and four and and on the four I'm going to call out our next chord so we're not going to stick to our pattern that we've been using so far we're not going to stick to C A minor F G D E minor or even do it in reverse I'm going to randomize it so we're going to start on C and just as an example we might start on one and two And 
and let's see how we can get on with changing chords on the fly. Let's try it, will we? So we're going to start on a C. Here we go, after one, two, three, and C. F. A minor. G. Back to C. minor F back to C D E minor Very well done if you were able to follow along with that one at home. There were some awkward shifts in there, but again, well done if you were able to keep up. Now, for the main event of this video, now that you've been practicing strumming downwards in a downward motion, and now that you've had a little bit of experience strumming in an upward motion, we're going to put those two motions together and we're going to build up our first strumming pattern. So that pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. So slowly, we're going to put on a C and I want you to try and play along with me. Now this is going to be a very slow burn, but with a little bit of time and with a little bit of practice, it really just becomes part of your muscle memory and it's used in so many songs. So it's a really important pattern to have under your belt. So I'm going to pop our strumming pattern up here beside me. Now you can see that we've got three kind of main lines in this. We've got down, down, up, then up, down, up. Effectively what this is, is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, with some of those strokes taken out. Down, no up, down, up, no down, up, down, up. So it's important that as you play this, your hand is still making those motions. It's still going down, up, but it's not always making contact with the strings. So you must try and build in this kind of. You can see that my hand is still rocking even when there aren't strings being sounded. So that's kind of at the crux of learning this strumming pattern is your hand is always going to be moving but you only want to make contact on the strokes indicated in the pattern here. So it's easiest to break it down into those three lines. Let's start learning this pattern with a C chord. Now, the first line of this pattern is a simple downward stroke. Then we bring our hand up for the next line when we go down, up. Okay, then our hand goes back down and the last line is up, down, so the three lines are down, down, up, up, down, up. And with a little bit of momentum, we're going to have down, down, up, up, down, up. So that is our pattern. That's going to be our main strumming pattern for most songs when it comes to the ukulele. So it's really important that you practice it slowly, make sure you're comfortable with it, and slowly over time the tempo comes up, the speed will come up with songs. But we're going to practice it right now in episode four of Master the Ukulele. So I want you to place a C on your ukulele and I'm going to just say the strumming pattern as we play it and I want you to play along with me. So, armed with a C, we're going to start after one, two, three, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Pay attention to where it loops back around.
very well done if you were able to play along and keep up at home. It is a tough challenge at the start, especially if this is your first kind of a foray into learning an instrument. What we're doing now is we're starting to incorporate rhythm and elements of rhythm into our playing. So let's try it one more time, but let's change the chord. Let's go to G. So get your G on the neck. And we're going to play at the same tempo. We're going to follow the same pattern. So again, taking your time, we're going to go one, two, three, and down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down. Can you keep up without my voice? Very well done if you were able to keep up with that. So just as a final exercise, what I want to do is I want to play our first four chords, C, A minor, F, and G, with that strumming pattern. However, we're going to give each pattern two cycles. So each chord is gonna get down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up before we change to the next chord. Now you may have noticed from those first practices that the third line runs very quickly back into the first line, almost straight away. It's up, down, up, down. So you're going from down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and you're shooting straight back up to that first line very quickly. Now it's on that first downward stroke where we would change our chords. So if we were transitioning, for example, from C to A minor, it'll be So there's a lot of coordinating going on between this hand and this hand. So again, these are critical steps when it comes to learning the ukulele. So just take your time with them. This is a process and we're not going to get to master level straight away, but if you take some care when it comes to learning these initial steps, it just makes the journey down the line so much easier. Once you have the technique right, and once you've got those first kind of building blocks in place and established and they're kind of learned correctly, that's when learning songs get so much easier. So again, let's have a look at this exercise. Each chord is going to get two rounds of this pattern and we're going to switch on the very first stroke on that first down cycle. So we're going to go for C after one, two, three and Switch, A minor. Up, down, up. Here comes F. Down, down, up. Up, down, up. And then G. Let's go back to C and do it one more time. Down, up, up, down, up, down. A minor. So again, a very, very well done to those of you who were able to keep up with that exercise. It is a tough exercise and it is one of the biggest leaps that you're going to have to make when it comes to learning the ukulele and when it comes to mastering the ukulele. Over time, as we begin to take a deeper dive into some songs, you'll see that that strumming pattern crops up time and time again. But at this stage and for this lesson, it's critical that you spend some time now just practicing your down, down, up, up, down, up across all six chords. So you've got your C, A minor, F, G, D, E minor. So all of those chords will be used with that pattern. So for this lesson and for this week, I really want you to practice just that for me. So that concludes episode four of Master the Ukulele. At this stage, we've got six chords. We've got up and downward strumming. We're able to read chord diagrams, accompany songs, and with some practice after this lesson, we should be able to start working with our new strumming pattern. So to practice this week, it would be really great if you could all spend some time 
playing your down, down, up, up, down, up with all of those chords. So a E minor, D, G, F, A minor, and C. Don't worry about speed. It's all about technique at the start. So that concludes episode four. Take some time to practice this week, enjoy. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next Sunday evening at eight o'clock when episode five of Master the Ukulele is released. All right, thank you so much. I will see you then. Bye now.